Hi there. Many organization stored database backup onto tape. Now tape backup is a time consuming process and admin needs to manage all the tape detail. Today organization use cloud object storage to copy backup and for this DBA need to script an automated task to backup and then copy it to the destination. Now restoration process also needs to be scripted and this increases the complexity and there are also chances of human error. For this NetApp have a solution which is more secure and it uses NetApp feature to take an app consistent backup using snap center and it also leverages the cloud backup from cloud manager to replicate the snapshot to the cloud object storage. So let's see how it is deployed. So let's say you have a database hosted on AFF or a FAST system and you already have a connection established between the on-prem and one of the public cloud, either Microsoft Azure or AWS. We go to the cloud manager and we register the cloud backup for applications. Then register the connector details. Now, based on the connector that you choose, be it or Microsoft Azure or AWS, your blob storage will be available to store your snapshot copies. Then you go ahead and register the snap center server after which cloud backup will discover all the databases that are running in on premises and already been protected by a snap center server. Snap center 4.6 is the prerequisite to copy your snapshot to the cloud object storage. Then activate the backup and that's it. Whenever you take a backup via snap center server on premises, the same snapshot will be copied over to cloud object storage, either in Microsoft Azure or in AWS S3. So now let's see a demo. So I already have a few databases running in an on premises and already been backed up via snap center server. These are very critical databases and need to be stored for a long term retention. So here we are in the cloud manager. I've already added the on-prem working environment, and this is the connector which is deployed in Azure. Now let's go to cloud backup and we'll select the applications. We'll first register the snap center server. We'll provide the snap center server detail. If there are multiple snap center server to be registered, then you can use the tags. So you see once the snap center server is registered, it has automatically discovered the database that are already protected via daily backup policy. So we'll pick up one of the database and activate the backup. We'll select the policy for how long the snapshot needs to be retained and that's it. Similarly, we'll protect the other databases. So next time onwards, whenever a backup is triggered on premises, the snapshot will be copied over to the cloud object storage. Now I'll see the details by clicking on one of the database. It shows us the source detail, the host from where the backup is created, a storage detail, its volume layout, and then the destination details like where it is being stored in which bucket. The restoration process is also simple. Depending on which database backup needs to be restored, we'll select one of the snapshot and initiate a restore operation. You have option to select restore to the same host or restore to the alternate host. And then whether you want to overwrite the existing database. And then if the database needs to be recovered in a recovery, non-recovery or, or in the read only mode. That's it. You can view the status of the restore operation from the job monitor. That's how easy it is to perform a restore from cloud backup apps. So you see how the complete process is automated to backup and restore your database from your Azure blob or S3 bucket to your destination SQL server instance. It is highly efficient and reliable due to use of block level copy lesser utilization of space and customer who are used to saving backup on tape 
can leverage this method to modernize their infrastructure, which helps in recovering data on demand anytime with lesser dependency than on labor intensive tape infrastructure. Thank you for watching this video and have a great day.